Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to read QR code using OpenCV. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the demo of reading QR code using OpenCV in Rust. So let's dive into the code. You can see uh, here. So I'm going to just launch a terminal and uh, just paste these commands like. We need a uh, Elang uh, compiler and uh, CMake uh, Qt GUI uh, just to make the configuration easy. And uh, we need Make to actually compile the uh, OpenCV library with the uh, QR code reader. So the default uh, lib OpenCV dev package available in Ubuntu repository do not have these modules uh added by default so we just have to do this and if you don't have git already installed you may have to install git also so i'm just going to install this as you can see i have already have everything uh needed in here so since i have all the packages already installed it is uh completed very quickly but if you don't have the clang library you may uh like you will uh, have to wait for some more time. That's all. It will be installed. And then we have to clone this repository. So I already have cloned it in my OpenCV directory. So we have OpenCV, which is compiled, uh, which is uh, the source code downloaded from Git, and OpenCV contrib, which is this one which is downloaded using this command so yeah i already have these so i'm not going to do it again uh, you can just uh, clone them and we are going to use the uh, gui cmake gui so just i'm going to launch cmake gui here it will usually be blank when you first open cmake gui so i'm going to do browse for the source file the source file is the git repository that you cloned okay for me it is in opencv projects and opencv so this is the repository i cloned uh, from from the git git repository this is the directory okay so this is where the source code is and we have to select a build location so it could be anywhere uh, but i usually tend to keep it in wherever the source file is i create a build directory at, at the parent directory of the source code so yeah it is in development open cv projects and build okay so now you just have to click configure and it will ask for where uh, which file to generate so usually you can generate uh, unix make files so it is one of the fastest method and you can specify the compilers also so if you have multiple compilers installed uh, like clang gcc gcc different versions of gcc you can specify the compiler here so i have the c compiler clang and uh, clang plus plus here that's all so i'm it is already populated so i'm not going to do anything so if you are using ubuntu this will be the you are using ubuntu and clang uh, this is where it will be located so otherwise you just have to uh, locate the uh, compiler this clang for me okay let's finish it so it started uh, configuring it will take some time it will, uh, for configuration uh, it may need internet access also for downloading some uh, patch files i don't know um, so it it will not take uh, more than uh, two or three minutes so configuring is done 
so once the configuration is done you have to modify uh, the extra modules path so here you have to specify the path where your uh, contrib package is located so for us it is my development directory opencv projects and it is in opencv contrib modules path if you choose the opencv contrib directory it will not work you have to uh, careful that you, you make sure you select this modules path so, and that's all i generate it will generate the required uh, you say um, make files in the build directory okay so now i am just uh, moving to the open cv projects where my build is located i am going into the build directory and in the build directory the cmake gui have generated all the make files uh, that is required for us so here you can just run make if j8 so this is the command this is the command we use to uh, actually compile all the things compile all the uh, source code into the binary so yep you can see it is it started compiling but it is uh, very time consuming so i am just going to uh, like i'm going to stop it here since i have already installed uh, opencv i don't need to compile it again so just to show you uh, this is what you have to done you have to do so once the command is completely uh, finished once it reaches 100 percentage you just have to run sudo make install so this will uh, copy the necessary generated files into the respective folders so that you can access the opencv library from um, wherever your system requires it like you can access it from the cargo package manager for rest you can access uh, from um, like if you are working with uh, c++ projects you can access this opencv uh, library from c++ also you can also access it from python so everything will be copied to the respective folders uh, in this when you run this so i will leave the link in the description what exactly is happening uh, when you run this command you can check out uh, that you can check out that uh, link for more uh, detailed uh, information on this one i am just going to create a new uh, rust application create new rust uh, cargo new been it will be and see we queue okay i'm going to open cv demo i'm going to open issue studio code here the first thing we are going to do is add open cv to it open cv 0.62 point zero i think this is the latest one so if you are if you are not sure you can always go to um rates dot ivo and search for open cv yeah 0 0.62 is the latest one so i have it here and we are just going to uh, first cargo run will just 
Okay, I saved it. Saved it now. So the first cargo run will actually um, it will compile many packages and um, will configure OpenCV for you. Uh, so it will take some time initially. Uh, like the first time you run the cargo run command, it will take some time. But after that, it will uh, only compile the code that you change. Cargo is intelligent and it will know what modules are changed and uh, work accordingly. Okay, now we have OpenCV configured and uh, ready to be used. So I'm going to uh, use OpenCV. We are just going to uh, import quite a few things like uh, the result, reload, object detect. So this is the one that has the um, object detect contains the QR code detector uh, module. We are going to use it and we will use image codex uh, yeah we may not anything other than these modules let's create a function so this function will return a result why we are doing this is we have to make the every opencv function will return uh, result so uh, if a result is uh, is okay if the result contains data we can proceed to the next step if it doesn't if it has any error we will just uh, propagate that error to the calls uh, up to the call stack that is main function and we will quit immediately so that's that is the reason we are using uh, this result and this Okay, so if every comments between here and uh, the okay statement, every if every step is executed without any error, it will just return uh, okay. Otherwise, it will uh, throw an error and exit immediately. So this is one of the, uh, let me show you with an example. Uh, first, we will create a video capture device, let's call it camera. And we are going to use a uh, video table. I think we haven't added it here. So, video table, video, table, video capture, video table, cap any. So, this uh, zero is for selecting the first, uh, zero is for selecting the first uh, input device, video input device if you have more than one camera connected to it you may need to change this value to find the correct uh, input device otherwise zero is perfect for it uh, then we are going to create a, an empty frame so here we don't need the uh, this uh, like the question mark symbol here so because it is going to return a core mat so the core mat default will return a uh, core mat data type but if you see the new uh, video capture new the third it will return a result with type video ivo video capture so and uh, in order to unpack that result we are using a question mark here so this is one of the shorthand available in uh, rest so you you may have seen unwrap so this will work just fine but uh, the error will be thrown here i'm not sure if it is better or uh, worse than using uh, this question mark here for unpacking but uh, this just makes things a uh, little more uh, friendly i guess little more uh, less redundant we don't have use unwrapped 
every time so but in order for this question mark to work we need to use this return type here and let's create a loop let's display the camera output in a video let's just output the camera to set the github copilot is killing me it's going to deactivate for rest for now okay we are going to read the data input from camera we haven't uh, defined it as a mutable so it thrown an error so i made it a mutable and uh, the error gone away and we are just going to display it using im show for that we are going to use igua namespace igua im show let's call it uh, name and we are going to use the image or frame we're going to use the frame so anywhere you use i am show you just have to use the um wait key wait key if it is a zero it will be static uh, and it will wait for the key press and it will not uh, it will not go to the next frame or to the next instruction if you keep it as one it will just wait for one millisecond or microsecond i'm not sure one millisecond and then goes to the next statement that's all so if i run it We are getting a warning because yeah we are getting a warning because this code will never be reached no matter what we do so we close this control c in the command will close the close this thing close the window so in order to close the uh, loop gracefully we just have to use a key this is we are just using this wait key will uh, return uh, ascii value of whatever the key we are pressing and if key is equal to uh, let's say q as i32 because wait key is going to return an i32 okay so we are just going to break from the loop now if we run if we press any other key it will not uh, close and uh, if i press q it will close that's all so so far so good we we haven't uh, gone to the object detection uh, yet so let's uh, create a qr code detector let's create the qr code detector here let mute war detector is an object detect pj detect qr code detector default so, so now we are going to create few things like we need a need a placeholder for an image we need a placeholder for uh, for our uh, qr code points like once the uh, once the qr code is decoded we will get uh, an array of points for that we are going to create a mutable result of points 
types vector of point new so this will create a an empty vector of point here and we will use this reference we will refer to this uh, from the qr code reader method so that it will be populated with the detected qr codes location so it's uh, another thing is the detect and decode method have uh, needs a place to store the qr code so it can be empty or we can just uh, display the detected QR code separately. So for that, I'm going to use this QR IMG. So it will be also just a uh, mat default. Also, don't have to be port. We, since we have imported uh, uh, the prelude, we don't have to mention core. So let's uh, call the QR detector here after reading the frame. We are just going to um, detect it. You are detector dot detect and decode. So for this, we are going to import input um, the image is the frame reference to frame. Press mutable reference to. The result so this is where the resultant points will be stored you can see in the documentation also it will be image input points optional output array and we are using the okay let's create a QR detection let's implement the QR detector method uh, let it underscore data maybe let's call it data and we are going to use the qr detector your detector dot detect and decode so this method will be will use image the uh, mutable reference to the points press so this will hold that uh, the enclosing or the boundaries of the qr code and this will contain the actual data in the qr code so this and this are different and then we need to give mutable reference to qrimg so you will see this will hold your uh, found QR code. If any QR code is found in the input image, it will be separately stored in QR underscore image. So we have frame here, not image. So this frame is here and that's all. We have data here. So let's print out whatever the data we have using a print line it's called data and print print our uh, result or this will be the enclosing points so just for a sanity check i'm going to run this i have made any mistakes so far we will catch it sooner this is one of the uh, best practices in programming run the program frequently so you will uh, you will not uh, be shocked or you will not have too much to be left out when you are de uh, debugging it's compiled without any error so that's a good one so yeah as you can see the qr code is detected and the points are displayed here as you can see yep so let's close this and let's uh, display the data 
in as uh, in a way that it makes sense to us so these are the what do you say these are uh, just u8 method so if you read the documentation in visual studio code you just have to uh, highlight a function and press f12 to uh, go to the implementation where it is usually documented um, in the comments so the return type of this function that is this detect and decode is going to be result ve type vector u8 so this is the result as you can see this is the array of or the vector of uh, u8 characters like u8 is unsigned uh, 8 bit characters which is which means it is ascii value everything is the string this is the string but it is in a format uh, that we act as a human we don't uh, understand so let's uh, make it human readable by using a method called uh, it is to be uh, imported from the standard library that is string from utf8 so let's create let s equals string from utf8 Glossy. and we are going to pass the reference to uh, actually it is data that's all so if we print yes here instead of data we will see what is written actually in that uh, QR code You can see it is my business card with my name uh, my company name and uh, my email id this is my business card uh, qr code so before it was just a stream of u8 uh, bytes now it is just uh, in more human readable format that's all so now if you want to see the like the enclosing or bounding box to the QR code, you can do that using uh, um, I think it is in IMG processing image processing. So it will throw an error if you directly call it because we just have to make sure like our uh, our uh, result is containing actual data so if result dot length is greater than zero we will just uh, call the image processing polylines So we are going to pause the frame here and the points are going to be our uh, result and is closed. Yes, we need the polygon to be closed. Going to be true. We are going to create a scalar for color. So for scalar new so it is just rgb uh, it will it will accept 0 to 255 but uh, it should be in um, f64 format so 0 f64 255 f64 255 f64 0 f64 yes 
this is rgb or bgr i'm not sure but the last one is alpha oh then we have thickness one line type let's make it one and we don't need the qr code to be shifted from its actual place so shift is zero and we just have to uh, use the unwrap sort hand uh, error is caused by this one so we need a mutable reference to the frame yeah that's it so now you will see so you can see an yellow bounding box around the QR code. Okay. If you want the QR code to be displayed separately, you can do that by using the just named window. AGUI create a named window for showing the QR code separately. And it's going to be AGUI window normal. Let's call it uh, window normal. It will create an empty window. Now we are going to uh, check if the image is, if the QR code is detected only, we have to change, we have to display it. Otherwise, this uh, named window will not be uh, dated. For that, we are going to create or we are going to just compare if qr image dot size the width must be greater than zero if it is true then we will display the image by using igui i am show so this qr code this window title is important because this is how it is keeping track of every window that is open we open uh, a window and if it is if if the image have any data in it it will update it it will uh, show the image there so gui named window what we are going to display here qr image yes QR underscore. we are going to use this unwrap shorthand we are going to pause the reference for the image. That's all. I think um, it should work. As you can see, the QR code is displayed at the top left corner here. Only when a QR code is uh, present, it will be displayed. So if I run it again without uh, any QR code, the window will be empty or blank. So I bring any object, any QR code in, it will be displayed. There. That's all. So I guess that's it. I guess this is quite a long video. Uh, Maybe if you have any doubt, kindly let me know. Please subscribe to the channel. It uh, it really helps. And share this video. And if you have any doubt, reach out to me. And yep, if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions, please do let me know in the comments. And also you can see the uh, code in my github repository i will leave the link to it uh, in the description thanks for watching and uh, yeah goodbye